Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. We're back in the kitchen and that makes me very happy because today folks we're going to make a chicken stir fry served over a bed of rice which is not only super quick and super easy but it is absolutely delicious. Let's get started. Okay first of all let's get our rice going and rice has got to be one of the easiest things in the world to cook. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to use a half cup of rice. Now of course if you have a rice cooker just use your rice cooker but you want a half cup of rice uh, preferably pre-washed and then to that you add one cup of water. So it's a two to one ratio. Very very easy. That's it. Let's bring that to a boil. So while our uh, rice is starting to heat up let's make our sauce. So we're going to add to make our sauce we're going to do two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons of dark soya sauce. Okay, one, two, and a half. Two and a half tablespoons of dark soya. We're also going to do two and a half tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Okay, so let's get our hoisin sauce in there. One, a little bit of help taking it off our tablespoon. <laughs> All right, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. In it goes, one, two. All right, and now we're gonna add some sesame oil, which I have here. You wanna add about three quarters of a tablespoon of sesame oil. There we go, three quarter tablespoon of sesame oil. The only other ingredient is a pinch of brown sugar. That's it. Okay, so that's it for our sauce. Our sauce is now made. Just kind of uh, mix it around, just get it stirred in together. Meanwhile, our rice has already come to a boil, our water has. So I'm just going to give it a little stir and put it down to simmer. And to our rice, at this point, you're going to salt to taste. So I'm going to add just one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. But again, here's where you would add salt to taste. Do you want more salt? Now's the time to add it. Okay, so I've given it a stir. I've got it on simmer. I'm just going to let it simmer now until all the water evaporates, which takes usually about, it doesn't evaporate, it gets soaked into the uh, rice. Uh, the rice will absorb the water. And usually after about 10 minutes, 12 minutes, it's done. And then I can turn it, the heat off and just let it finish cooking. So from this point on, just so you know, once it comes to boil, it takes rice about 20 minutes to cook. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go prepare our add-ons. So these ingredients are what I call my add-ons. And for that, you're gonna want about two tablespoons of minced ginger, one garlic clove that has been minced as well, one large bell pepper or two medium-sized peppers. I have two medium-sized peppers here and slice them, you know, about a half inch uh, strips. Okay, and then uh, here I have four green onions that I've cut up into about, oh, about a half inch um, pieces. And then here we've got one medium onion, which I have sliced very, very thin. And it's a sweet onion, but you could use any onion you like. Those are what are gonna call our add-ons. They're ready to go. And now that we've got that done, we can prepare our chicken and get our wok going. So for the chicken, you're going to want to use two large chicken breasts, you know, anywhere from a pound to a pound and a half total. Or I like, I prefer to use um, chicken thighs. So boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And you slice them thin, about a quarter inch uh, thick, and uh, make these thin slices of chicken. Once you've done that, Take some cornstarch and sprinkle cornstarch. Cornstarch is very important for this recipe. So we're going to sprinkle the cornstarch and then you want to toss your chicken pieces together and get them coated, all coated with the cornstarch. This is going to help them when they, when, they, when they cook up. They're going to crisp up really, really nicely. It's going to retain the juices. Uh, this cornstarch is key. Okay, and I can see I, can, I need to add some more. Okay, I'm going to add a little more cornstarch and make sure that they're all coated. Just give them a toss. A quick check on the rice. Um, a lot of the water has been absorbed already. There's still quite a bit in there. I'm just going to let that continue to simmer. Let's move over to our wok. 
And to our wok, we are going to add some peanut oil. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons of peanut oil. Let's bring it up to temperature. I like to move the oil around a little bit and get, the, get your wok coated up nicely with the oil. Now, if you don't have a wok, first of all, I recommend, I highly recommend you get one because they are a versatile uh, frying pan, basically. Uh, they're fantastic. But a regular frying pan will do if you don't have a wok. So no worries about that. Okay. Get our oil heated up. 345, 346. Okay, we can start frying. So, at this point, we take our chicken, add our chicken to the wok, and start walking. <laughs> okay. I like to use this, this is my favorite wok tool, this uh, flat wooden spoon. I love it. The wooden spoon doesn't doesn't hurt the surface of my wok and the flat is just perfect for uh, for stirring and frying and mixing so what you want to do here is continue to stir and mix the chicken and you want it basically you want it cooked so it's got to be browned all over and cooked so as you're browning your chicken just continue to to mix it around and if any sticks together just just use your spoon and kind of unstick them as you're as you're mixing them up so we're just constantly stirring this mixing it and stirring it and I've dropped the heat down to medium high and then every so often if you want you can give it a little toss okay and just keep cooking it I can see it's about three quarters done right now so our chicken looks like it's done and the reason I put it down to medium high from high is because otherwise what happens is you get a lot of smoke coming from your cooking and I wanted to avoid that. So I just dropped it down to medium high. It's still plenty hot. Uh, that's not an issue. And now I'd like to also mention at this point with the chicken cooked and browned nicely, if you wanted to add salt to your chicken, you would add salt right now to taste. I personally do not do it because We've got all that salt in the soya sauce, and for me, it's salty enough. But uh, again, salt to taste. If you want to add salt, now's the time to add it. I am not going to add any at this point, nor am I going to add any more salt moving forward. Okay, so that's done. Let me just lower the heat to simmer so I can avoid burning myself. <laughs> there we go. So you want to remove the chicken from the wok and just let it rest. While it's resting, we're gonna add a little more peanut oil. Tablespoon of peanut oil. Bring our temperature back up. Let's stick to medium high, almost high. And we're gonna start by cooking our, we've got our minced ginger here, two tablespoons of minced ginger. Get that in. Okay, and we're gonna also take our minced garlic, our one garlic that we minced, and we're gonna put that in. And we're gonna cook that for basically 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. Meanwhile, how's our rice doing? Oh, the rice is, the water is all absorbed, so I'm going to turn the heat off on the rice. And it'll just finish cooking on its own now. So that's it, just a quick fry, 30 seconds. Now it's time to add our onions. Our sliced onion. And we're gonna add our sliced peppers. Toss them all together. And again, let's get them stir fried and cooked till they're nice and the onions gotta be softened. And the peppers could even char a little bit. That's not a problem. So we're just gonna continue to mix, stir, toss, okay, until these are cooked. So, it's part of the fun of cooking, right? Walk, cooking with a wok is actually a lot of fun. 
All right, so I'm going to just continue cooking this until those onions get nice and soft and those peppers cook up a bit too. Our onion has softened up pretty good. And looking at that, that looks pretty good, but our peppers need more time. So we're going to continue to toss and cook until our peppers cook up a little bit more. Oh yeah, these are cooking up very nicely. And of course, Laura reminded me that she likes her peppers to be more bite-sized. So what I could have and should have done is cut those in half like that. So you have smaller pieces that are easier to, uh, to eat when you put it on the plate. So you know what? I will do that now for Laura and just cut them up. So that's looking good. Some of our peppers, you see it's charring up a bit there. You see those char marks? That's perfect. Now they're not going to get limp like the onions, but they are cooked. So now what we do is we're going to take that beautiful sauce that we prepared earlier and we're going to add our sauce. Get all that sauce out. That's making some smoke now. Okay. <laughs> so, stir in the sauce. Get all the peppers and onions coated with that sauce. You want to cook the sauce for about just a minute. You just want to get it cooked and get all your veggies coated. In goes the chicken. Same thing, let's get that tossed. Get all that chicken coated with the peppers and the onions and that nice sauce that we made earlier. Make sure everything gets coated up nicely. Okay. There we go. Let's continue to stir that or mix that. Oh, that is looking so good. I mentioned earlier that it was quick, easy, and delicious. I wasn't kidding on the delicious part. This is going to be so tasty. Okay, so now that we've got all our chicken coated and our vegetables mixed nicely, last we're going to add our, our green onions. They don't take as long to cook. So those we just want to toss in and we're going to cook just for a minute. Look at the color on that too. Isn't that a, just a beautiful dish? And that's it. That's enough. Now let's put it all together. Okay, so we have our cooked rice now. Cooked perfectly, steaming hot. Take our rice out. We take that beautiful chicken stir fry. Look at this. Pour that right over top of the rice. Oh my goodness. What a meal. Okay. Oh my goodness. Just take a look at this beautiful chicken stir fry dish. Unbelievable. And you know what I need to do now, folks? <laughs> the best part, the taste test. This, folks, is what cooking is all about right here. Oh my, the rewards of your efforts. Hmm. <laughs> Mmm. This is superb. Absolutely fantastic. I really hope you give this recipe a try. I'm going to enjoy dinner tonight with Laura, but I got to tell you, the flavors in here that we put together, the steps that we did along the way, make for just an amazing, an amazing chicken and rice stir fry. I really, really hope you give this recipe a try. I love it. I'm going to enjoy it tonight. And I want to thank you for joining me today on today's episode of Cooking with the Koyas. And as always, until next time, bon appetito. Yes, I'm going to have myself a really good meal tonight. What a combo. Beautiful.